Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have a bit of a breaking news story here, um, and it comes from basically the biggest uh, channel and news outlet in Brazil, with people reporting, residents reporting, that something landed in a field on the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil. So here you're seeing the report, translated by Google from Globo.com, which states, again translated, Residents report alleged landing of flying saucer on the coast of SP. Marks on the vegetation and reports of citizens talk about a mysterious event in Peru Bay. Researchers and City Hall investigate. So before we get to this report here, as you're seeing in this photo, a couple of things stand out immediately. Uh, we have, you know, a big bushy overgrown field here and an obvious indentation made by something. I mean, it looks like something large. It, it looks triangular, although the report is saying flying saucer. This reminds me more of like a TR-3B, or basically the, you know, the black anti-gravity craft that have been seen slowly and silently flying through our skies for years now. And uh, it looks like something that was laid down right here in the field. And so City Hall teams and researchers are investigating the alleged landing of this unidentified flying object off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Residents reported seeing a light on the terrain at dawn, where they then found the flattened vegetation. The area was forbidden by the city hall while they were doing their analysis. The property is located at the back of a house on Route 19 in the Balneiro Salio Batista 3 neighborhood, away from the central part of the city. The marks are slightly more than 13 meters long and 2 meters wide. The land was surrounded by the city hall to avoid any sort of movement or walking upon the scene that might hamper the work of the researchers. Uh, one of the team, by the name of Saga Zuza, said, quote, We've looked at it in the last few days, and we already noticed that it was something that was not made by a human. It was a UFO, really, that landed there making circular movements, so the vegetation was crumpled. According to reports of residents gathered by him, at the time of the landing, the homes in the surroundings went without electricity, so their, their electricity went out. They said, quote, We have a couple who report that they saw a beam of light on the ground, and in another moment, the light approached their house. So the entire episode occurred in the early hours of October 7th, but was kept confidential so as not to attract attention from onlookers. On Thursday, the 19th, when it was released by the City Hall, approximately 100 people crowded in the area that was being analyzed. We are in a research phase, but we have already collected images, analyzed the terrain, and heard the witnesses. One of them reports that at 6 p.m. on the 7th after that, he saw something in the forest that he was not able to identify. The resident of the house next to the site of the alleged landing, according to Saga, who has studied for 35 years possible extraterrestrial contacts, reported nausea and malaise in recent days which he says, quote, is a common factor in situations like this. The area is being monitored by the local authorities, uh, which have carried out marking of the terrain and aerial images of the vegetation that was altered, saying, quote, it's a detail-rich event that can help us clarify other situations in the coming days. For several years, the city of Perube has aroused the interest of the scientific community, where in early 2010, the former municipal administration implemented a, quote, ufological roadmap that passes through various parts of the city. Now, just to clarify here, what they mean by a ufological roadmap is that basically because there's been so many strange things happening in this area, it's almost like a, a, a tourist site now. And so they've created this project that features some of these so-called attractions sought by tourists who want to come around, uh, people who are um, intrigued by the UFO phenomenon. 
And indeed, for many years now, you know, Brazil was one of the earliest places where we first heard about strange incidents, whether it be UFOs or just overall mysterious phenomena happening, dating way back. And this isn't the first time we've seen a landing of something unexplained. Uh, many of you may have heard of something called the Vargina UFO Incident which is the name given to a series of events evolving the alleged sighting and capture by the, the local authorities of an extraterrestrial being in Brazil in 1996, with uh, the first reports being broadcast on the Sunday TV show Fantastico, which then quickly gathered extensive media coverage worldwide, including an article in the Wall Street Journal, and has since become one of the most famous cases in modern Brazilian ufology. And so, again, back to this story, the alleged UFO landing has appeared to have been covered up. I mean, it has. It, it occurred in early October, and it's been covered up by the Brazilian media and authorities until now. Now, it is not clear why that they did not reveal this for 10 days. However, the fact that they're investigating this and seem to be taking it very seriously, you know, with, again, people talking about the lights and their houses going out, Seeing this light over the field, a spinning object, I think we have something here. You know, it's very reminiscent of things like the Roswell incident and many of the other landings that have occurred around the world. So, there you have it. Um, we will obviously continue to follow this story. Something has obviously happened here on the coast of Brazil. Um, if we have any more info, of course, I'll post on it. Maybe if any of you guys, any viewers out there from the area can give us any more info, please leave it down below, and uh, I'll post a link to these uh, original stories and reports about this sighting. And, you know, I just have to say, God bless the Brazilian authorities, because unlike our own government, of which cover-ups are nothing more than the status quo, thankfully, we have more enlightened countries and areas where they're much more open to these phenomena and to reporting on them and letting the public know what is going on, or at least giving us some details. But again, they just released it, they covered it up, so technically they may not be giving us all the info, but rest assured, I'll be following it. And real quick, before we go today, I just have something to show you guys, as well as an update to a future video. I was just sent this video by a viewer who is getting into the Halloween spirit. Now, Halloween is one of my favorite months of the year. And as you all know, I feature uh, Secure Team t-shirts on the online shop. You can stop over and grab one. And well, a viewer decided to take it to the next level. So check this out. I want to thank the viewer who sent this in. It's uh, really awesome to me that you grabbed a shirt and are using it as part of your Halloween display this year. Uh, the viewer said it's a great conversation starter with neighbors feeling relaxed and comfortable talking about their experiences with UFOs. So big thanks to Jeff for sending that over. And while we're on the subject, I have another video coming of something very strange that just occurred. And, well, we'll just say something big was just seen flying over the Arizona and uh, Texas desert. So, I'm going to do a little bit more work and digging on that, but watch out for that video. I may have it up within just a few hours, so make sure you have notifications turned on. If not, just check back to the channel every now and then. So, thanks again, guys. Stay tuned, and I'll see you back soon. 